When 9-11 happened, uh, I was thinking to myself, this, this can't be true. And I also thought that, uh, yes, uh, it's about time uh, terrorism happened in the United States because we had seen it all over the rest of the world and I always wondered when it was going to come to the United States. Uh, it came as a shock to me the day when I was jogging and somebody drove by uh, and told me, uh, go home, uh, a plane crashed into a building. And by the time I got home, I turned it on and I thought I was watching the, the second, uh, the replay of the first, of the plane crashing into the building when actually I saw the plane go in live on television. And it was the most shocking thing I had seen, I think, on television uh, since the Oswald uh, assassination uh, when uh, Jack Ruby killed Oswald. And so for me, in the last 10 years, uh, it has been a, uh, you know, a constant reminder of um, U.S. imperialism, of the problems that the United States uh, causes, whether they want to cause it or not. Uh, and our inability, I think, sometimes to concentrate on our own problems uh, when we're dealing with the problems outside the world. I think a lot of that has to do with, with uh, financial interests, uh, fi uh, to, be, to be honest. And uh, it bothers me. Every time I go into Penn Station, I think this will be the next stop. There will be an explosion here someday and I will have to run. I, every time. I never thought that way uh, prior to 9-11. Um, and now every time I go into Penn Station, I try to find the quickest way out. Uh, and so it's, it's created this kind of sense of uh, uh, inadequacy uh, in the United Well, maybe, maybe it's a sense of reality it's created. Uh, that, uh, you know, we, we live in times when our actions uh, and the actions of the people we elect and the actions of the people we pay to do our dirty work uh, come back to haunt us. And I think this is the biggest lesson I think I've learned from 2001. And now at 2011, I try to live my life in a uh, very concerned way, a very uh, uh, intelligent way that takes into consideration all the uh, information that comes to me through all the different sources in the media and um, try to anticipate some of the turmoil that's going to be happening in the world. It's, it's not a very comfortable position. I'd rather be sitting around thinking of baseball scores, of pretty women, <laughs> of uh, uh, my family, and so on. But 9-11 uh, uh, has changed a lot of that.